Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great fifth wheel value from Parkway RV Center. Folks, if you're in the under $20,000 and under price range, I'm going to show you what I honestly believe is the best buy on the internet on a high end fifth wheel for under 20 grand. This is a beautiful 2006 Escalade 37RE by Sportsman. Uh, this is a 39 foot triple slide, full body paint fifth wheel this is sportsman's top of the line unit it cost over eighty three thousand dollars new in 2006 of course it's not eighty three thousand dollars now it's 19.9 but i'm gonna tell you folks for this age fifth wheel for this for a 10 year old fifth wheel for under twenty thousand dollars there's you know i want you to look online and compare this to what you see out there for this price range in a fifth wheel there's no comparison folks this is a beautiful full body paint Four seasons insulated, weighs 13,360 pounds, which that's if you're going to, if you want a fifth wheel to use during the winter time, to live in, to, to use for a long time, and you want one that's not going to freeze you out uh, in the winter time or sweat you out in the summer, this is your next RV because this thing is built like a Sherman tank. That's why it's so heavy, folks. And I always tell people, if you're just looking for something for a weekend camping, it doesn't matter what kind of fifth wheel you buy. But if you're wanting something for extreme temperature, something you can live in, something you can take up north in the wintertime, down in South Florida or, or the Arizona desert in the summertime, you want something like this, folks. You, you want to stay away from the lightweight models of the fifth wheels if you're going to use it in extreme temperatures because the lightweight fifth wheels are not insulated worth a flip, trust me, from experience. Uh, now, if you're just looking for something to take the lake for the weekend, anything will work. But this is a serious fifth wheeler for somebody with a serious need for one, and it's a bargain price. You've got a full power patio awning, which we make sure that works perfectly. Got the alloy wheels. Tires look great. All three slide outs look great. There's no delamination. Uh, this is a good looking fifth wheel, folks. Look at the striping and finish on it. This, it's in great shape. Uh, full heated basement storage. You know, for 10 year old model, this is a great looking RV. It's, and if you want to pull the NADA up, folks, you're going to be shocked. I didn't even add any options, and I'm already at $31,000 for NADA base retail. This is a the best buy on the internet. I, I have confidence saying this, folks. And you, you know, you get it. If you can prove me wrong, please send me an email. But this is the best buy on the internet on a fifth wheel for under $20,000. Uh, and if you can find a better deal, please email it to me because I don't think you can prove me wrong on that. Uh, 10 gallon DSI water heater. We're going to make sure everything works. We're going to go through a very extensive checklist when you buy this RV. Uh, we're going to make sure everything on that list works and on a fifth wheel it pretty much covers everything. And of course you can always call or email and we'll send you a copy of that checkout sheet to be completed after purchase. I mean this thing is solid. Even the cabinets are solid wood, folks. Of course, I know everybody likes to see the inside, so let me let me go on and take you inside, folks. Now, we do offer nationwide delivery. I know 13,300 pounds is heavier than most pickup trucks can handle, but we have trucks that can handle it. And if you're going to set it up somewhere in a lot or at your home and use it for temporary housing or whatever need you're going to use for it and you're not going to move it, we're more than happy to deliver it anywhere in the country. Let's take a look inside. I mean, wow. Folks, I'm going to tell you, um, look at this for under 20 grand. This looks like a $40,000 fifth wheel and you can buy it for under 20 grand. This thing is just absolutely beautiful. Um, wow. <laughs> And I know the video, and I promise you, when you see it in person, the video doesn't do it justice. I mean, it's just amazing to me that something like this can be purchased for nineteen nine. dollars um, I would have expected something like this to be thirty grand, dollars $35,000. Got a fireplace, got a ceiling fan. This unit's got two ducted roof airs. All the original Sony electronics. These aren't the cheap stuff, folks. This is all Sony electronics, and they're all included. DVD, VCR, surround sound system, uh, crossover, so you can watch everything on the back TV. Of course, all your remotes are included. 
Man, these cabinets are... And I know you can't really tell from the video, folks. That's solid wood. That's not particle board. That's, that's all solid wood like you put in your own home. Got a little desk area you can put a computer at. Got a keyboard tray, which if you're going to live in one or use one full time, that's about a necessity. The place to pay your bills. Man, look at that pretty inlaid glass. Look at this lounge. Just makes a bed. Uh, table and chairs. Two big leather recliners that look great right here. Look at the really nice window treatments. This is all original factory, day night shades. You can tell this was a high-end fifth wheel. It's got the padded headliner with a sound editing material to help insulate the RV. Folks, this has got a incredible Four Seasons rating. I mean, this is something, if you're going to use it in the wintertime up in Canada, that's what it's designed for. Got an ultra-thick roof. Uh really high r factor and all the walls ceiling fan it's got the indirect lighting got the surround sound you know i know a lot of these folks uh, you look at have been lived in and you always want to stay away from a lived in rv because if somebody's lived in it for three or four years it's practically worn out i've seen people live in one for three or four years and it look and the inside looks like it's 20 25 years old when it's just three or four year old fifth wheel because they literally wear them out. But this one right here, folks, I can tell you right now, has not been lived in. If it has, it hasn't been for very long. It's got a central vacuum cleaner. You may have noticed this huge 12 cubic foot four-door refrigerator freezer. It's got the filtered water dispenser. It's got a built-in ice maker. It's already getting cold. I mean, this thing right here, folks, is just immaculate and now of course we're going to make sure everything works on gas and electric and it's already getting cold so you know i don't think you have to worry about that <laughs> look at the uh crown molding around the roof even around the door i mean this is a very very nice fifth wheel very high grade heavy you know that's what you want in a fifth wheel I mean, don't get me wrong, the lightweight models, yeah, they're fine for, for recreational camping, but if you want something that's seriously going to last you for a decade, you want to go with a heavy fifth wheel. The heavier it is in a fifth wheel, as a rule of thumb, the better it's built. And this one is definitely built to last because these manufacturers, when they don't have to worry about weight issues, they can build them so much better when they don't have to worry about cutting down the weight. Corian countertops, folks. Look at that. Corian countertops. Mowing faucets. I mean, this is that's not the RV faucet. That's a mowing faucet. Uh, suburban, of course, obviously they didn't cook much, but you got a stove top and oven, got a microwave. And this is a microwave uh, confection oven combo. So you've actually got two ovens. You've got an electric oven and you got a gas oven. So that's what I've got in my personal class A, folks. And that's um Trust me, that's handy to have. Got a knife block behind the stove. Of course, these are the real DuPont Corian countertops. You always want to look for that little gold button. That's when you know it's genuine DuPont Corian. Got a central vacuum cleaner. We're going to step up here into the bedroom and bathroom area. Of course, if you can overlook that ugly guy in the mirror. <laughs> but anyway, huge closet across the front it's got a second air unit it's all ducted in together queen island bed there's a glassed in shower you've got an outside lavatory vanity area and this is all corian including a seamless corian sink so you don't have to worry about sealing the sink all the time medicine cabinet uh chest of drawers at the foot of the bed you can put a TV here if you want to. If you want us to add a TV, folks, that's fine. We have no problem with that. We just charge you whatever the TV costs us. Most people don't watch TV in the bedrooms, but some of you do. So, uh, you know, we're more than happy to install a TV for whatever it costs us on Amazon. So, and the, and the TV mount, of course. Golly, I'd hate to pick this door up, folks. This is, I know you really can't tell from me knocking on it, but... That is a heavy door. That solid wood door. I'd hate to see just what that door cost. Uh, porcelain RV toilet. Got some overhead storage. Got a vent fan. Lots of fluorescent lighting throughout the entire RV. I mean, this is a nice fifth wheel, folks. Um, it does have washer and dryer hookups. Like most people now, everybody's shying away from the washers and dryers because they're such a service nightmare. 
but you know if you want a washer and dryer installed fifteen hundred dollars folks if you don't think you're going to use it at least once a week I strongly recommend not using a washer and dryer because I've seen those things do thousands of dollars of damage to a fifth wheel or an RV but they never get used people it costs somebody that much money for something they never used you can look in these RVs out here that have washers and dryers RVs can be 15 years old the washers and dryers have never even been turned on because nobody ever uses them that's just more maintenance and service to keep up with but if you are going to live in it, something you think you're going to use, I will install one for $1,500 if you buy the RV from us. But folks, I'm going to tell you, um, you can check the NADA. And I, I, I normally do two NADAs. I show the base model like this. Average retail, no options. $31,350. And I normally do one with options. But when I saw this thing was... Wow. That's what is that? Eleven thousand, almost eleven five under NADA base retail. I didn't see the point of doing options. I mean, this thing. I mean, I can make it look like it's got a forty thousand dollar book, and you're buying it for nineteen nine. But I mean, you're already buying it for, you know, eleven five under NADA base retail. I don't know how much more proof you need to see that this is an excellent bargain. And like I said, folks, if you can find a better deal for nineteen ninety, email it to me. I'd like to be proven wrong, but I honestly don't believe you're going to find a better deal out there for this price. Nineteen nine, and folks, that is a firm price. If you offered me eighteen or nineteen thousand eight hundred ninety nine dollars, I would turn it down. It takes, uh, or excuse me, nineteen thousand eight ninety nine. I would turn it down. It takes nineteen nine to buy this fifth wheel. This unit's going on eBay. It's going on twenty other different websites. It's going to sell in the next day or two. You cannot find a fifth wheel like this for this price anywhere else. You know, we're Parkway RV Center. We're one of the oldest and most successful used RV dealerships in the business. 48 years, and we sell over 500 used RVs a year and been in business for almost half a century. And this is a deal that you're only going to get from us. Now, you take, you go to these other dealers, this is the $30,000 fifth wheel all day long. And then they're going to start adding, 10, you know, most dealers, they try to average 10% in fees on top of the sales price. So then you're going to pay two to $3,000 in fees. Dock fees, prep fees, dealer fees, customer fees, all these fees these other dealers charge you are all 100% dealer profit and 100% unnecessary to purchase a used or new RV and our fifth wheel. I say RV, folks. What I really mean is RV is just a general term for all recreational vehicle, fifth wheels, travel trailers, motorhomes. But, you know, you pay thousands more for the same RV. They're going to hit you up with two or $3,000 in fees just to rub salt in the wound. Then they're going to charge you for uh, financing. They're going to mark the interest rate up over what they get you approved for for financing. Before you know it, folks, you've overpaid by several thousand dollars. At Parkway RV Center, you know, we've been in business for 48 years, since 1968. And if that's not a true testimony to how we treat our customers and the bargains we sell, I don't know what else is. You know, we just got our uh, new fifth wheel corral opened up. We've got all of our fifth wheels plugged into power. So if you want to come look at a particular one, if you'll call ahead, we'll run out here and flip the air on, have it nice and cool for you so you can spend some time in it. But folks, I'm going to tell you, this one right here, this particular one, even on our lot, there is not a better deal out there for under for, for under twenty thousand dollars. This is literally a forty thousand dollar fifth wheel you're buying for half price. And we're going to go through that checklist. We're going to make sure it passes everything. And I'm not going to go into detail about the checklist because it's huge. But we check just to give you the cover of the highlights. We're going to check the refrigerator, gas, and electric both. We're going to check the air conditioners, the awnings. We're going to check the plumbing, the propane, all the appliances, all the electrical. All the lighting, we're going to check uh, the tires. We're going to check, make sure the tires don't, make sure there's no debris in them or we make sure they're not, uh, you know, have dry weather cracking or anything like that. We don't guarantee tires, but we do check them. And if it does need tires, of course, RV salesperson will tell you if it does. But from me looking at it, this one doesn't need tires. I will tell you that. But folks, this is a nice RV. It's it's priced at a price that's you just can't touch anywhere else. 199 firm. We'll trade. Give us a call. 706-965-7929. Evenings and Sundays 423-605-6747. Don't be surprised if you see this video and always check the date of the video, because if it's more than a week old, chances are it's sold. 
But if this video is more than a few days old and you call, don't be surprised if it's already got a deposit or it's sold because this is a kind of fifth wheel that's going to last somebody for a long time, save them a lot of money. This is something you can buy, use it for two or three years, sell it, and get your 19.9 back out of it. Easy. So give us a call. Drop us an email at sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. We have financing available with interest rates as low as 3% with approved credit. Uh, obviously, that 3% rate, uh, you're not going to need money down because you're financing, uh, you know, 11.5 under what the book value says. So, you know, as long as you've got good credit, uh, any bank would be crazy not to finance this one for you. This is one they hope they repo because they can sell it and make some money. But anyway, folks, uh, 3% interest rates available with approved credit. You couldn't even buy this thing brand new for thousand dollars and get a rate that low. And the reason being is because other RV dealerships mark interest rates up. They hate it when I tell you this. But they actually, they what they teach the finance managers and business managers to do is to shoot for doubling the interest rate. In other words, they get you approved at 3%. They charge you 5.99 or 6.14 or whatever they think they can get away with. That's what they're trained to do, folks. And the banks let them do it. It should be illegal, but it's not. And it and it costs you a lot of money, folks. Of course, this unit, another RV dealership, you're going to spend eight to ten grand more for, plus all those fees. They're just going to tack on to it and finance it in with it. And by the time you figure paying thirty grand or better, and then they marking the interest rate up two or three percent, you're overpaying by thousands over the life of an RV loan in higher payments. Well, folks, you don't have to worry about that here. We offer financing as a courtesy to our buyers not as a way to make money or exploit them like other RV dealerships do. There's zero interest rate markup. What the bank approves you for is what we tell you. And if you want to go through your own lender, your own bank, and they can get a better rate, I'm more than happy to work with them too, folks, whoever you're comfortable with. Extended terms are available up to 144 months with approved credit. And um, this one's going to go quick, folks. If you don't leave a deposit on it and, um, you know, it's sold, you know, I told you so. <laughs> I just don't know any other better way of putting it. You got to realize this is going to be seen by this ad that I'm writing or will write for this RV will be seen by thousands of people in the next 48 hours. This video is probably going to have a couple of hundred views in that time too. And I, I use 20 other different websites. I use eBay, which... I'm a certified power seller on eBay. You can check my feedback. I've got 100% positive feedback. I'm one of the only certified power sellers selling used RVs on eBay with hundreds of positive feedbacks from customers all over the country. You can check my Google Plus page. I've got dozens and dozens of positive customer testimonials from people that came from all over the country because they can't beat our prices, folks. We have the lowest prices on the Internet. There's no ifs, ands, buts about it. You can compare anything I got on my website to any other dealer out there and then get the out-the-door price to make see what they I charge for fees and all that stuff, and then compare that to what I charge, which is nothing. And uh, you're going to see my price is thousands less. That's why we've been in business for almost half a century, folks. We sell the best. We sell it for less. We treat you right. We don't have commissioned salespeople. We don't mark interest rates up. We save you money, and, and actually, folks, that interest rate thing saves you more money than even the, the even the price does because you won't believe how much more that costs you when you go to an RV dealership and pay 6% finance rate versus 3%. It's ridiculous what it costs you in interest rate. And it doesn't even make that much difference on your payment. That's what's so bad about it. But anyway, folks, um, another thing you got to realize, us not using commission salespeople saves you thousands of dollars. Commission salespeople is a practice that is a century out of date. Other dealers use commission salespeople so they can take a lot of our sites, which we got about 170 used RVs. They can have 30 or 40 salespeople. They don't have to pay them to be here. They only pay them when they sell something. They don't get paid by the hour. They don't get paid salary. They only get paid when they produce a sale. That means you may be the only person they talk to all week because there's so many salespeople there that everybody's just begging for, for customer leads. And that also means that they're going to bring the sales pressure because when you tell them you're not ready to buy or you're just looking or you're going to buy it in a few weeks, few months, or even a couple of years, they're going to bring on the sales pressure because they know if they don't sell you while you're there, at least get a deposit out of you, they're not going to buy from them. 
and all that time they spent with is wasted. So that's why they have all the games, all the gimmicks, all the stuff that everybody hates about buying any kind of vehicle is what you get from dealing with a commission salesperson. Plus, it costs you so much more money, folks. You don't realize this, but the average RV salesperson's commission rate is 25% of the gross profit. So that means that dealership, on top of having more overhead and higher prices to cover all their advertising and, and all their extra fees and all their dealerships and pay all their employees, they have to mark their prices up an additional 25% to cover the salesperson's commission. In other words, you're paying thousands more for the same RV simply because they use commission salespeople. Well, folks, I don't have 30 or 40 salespeople here. I've got four and a couple of part-timers. And, uh, folks, my guys get paid salary only. They don't get paid commission. They don't get any incentive to sell. This way, they're not pressuring you at all to buy uh, because it doesn't matter to them at all as far as their paycheck is concerned. If you buy this fifth wheel or you buy something else or you don't buy anything, it doesn't matter to them because they get paid the same every single payday. This way, it eliminates sales pressure. It eliminates games and gimmicks, and you've actually got a salesperson that works for you instead of a commission salesperson who's only looking out for their own interest, which is making as much money on you as possible so they can get a bigger commission and a bigger cut uh, of the profit. So never buy from a commission salesperson, folks. Uh, but, and I'm going to tell you, that saves you so much money and stress just doing that alone. And you don't have to worry about that here, folks. Everybody here is on salary. Uh, just makes it so much easier. Our buyers love it that way, and that's the way we're going to keep it. That's the way we've done it for half a century. So give us a call. Our phone numbers again are 706-965-7929, evenings and Sundays, 423-605-6747. Folks, that second number I gave you, that's how positive we are about our RVs and the quality of them. That 423-605-6747 and keep in mind, we're a multi-million dollar RV dealership. That is our owner's company owner's personal cell phone number. He's so confident, and we are too, about the quality of the RVs we sell and the fact that we've got the lowest prices on the internet. He puts his personal cell phone number on every single ad I post online. I post the price on every single ad I post online. Nothing's worse than these ads that say call for price because then you know they've got commissioned salespeople and they're going to mark the price up depending on the how you talk to them on the phone and uh, to make the most commission that they can. You never want to buy from a place that doesn't advertise pricing, folks. That means they're going to take you to the cleaners. If they hear you got a trade in, uh, they're going to mark that price up four or $5,000 over what it would have been if you uh, didn't have a trade so they can steal your trade in. So folks, don't fall victim to all these games these other dealers play. It kind of makes me mad because these big corporate dealers, the way they rip people off, and I see it every day, folks, because I have people try to trade in RVs they bought from these corporate dealerships, the ones that sponsor NASCAR and have hundreds of dealerships nationwide. And because they add all those fees, because they mark the interest rates up, they, they've, been, they, they've got a new RV they bought five years ago, been paying on it. I had a guy here this morning, same situation, owed $10,000 more than it was worth because they added all that junk that I just said to it. And he's stuck in it, folks. I mean, there's nothing I can do for them when you're that far upside. When you're 10, 12 grand upside down, very few things, I, very few items can I get you in to get you out of that without burying you in the one you're buying. So, and I, it makes me mad because he had no idea. He had, didn't have a clue. He basically, when I looked up what his unit cost new, he paid $8,000 over what it cost you by the time they paid the added the fees and all that junk to it, folks. So don't be a victim to that. Do your homework before you buy any RV because nothing's worse to me is to have somebody come in here and try to trade something. And I feel so bad for them when they're upside down, folks, because that makes all dealers look bad just because of the actions of a few. But there are honest people, folks, out there like us. We're family owned and operated for three generations. You know, we don't want we want to sell you something you can keep for a couple of years. You can sell it, get your money back out of it, or you can trade it back into us like most of our customers do, and we can still give you a good trade allowance. And because you bought it so far under book, you know you're not upside down in it like this one. I mean, you're basically buying this 06 for what the 03s are worth. So right there, you've got, you know, almost $12,000 in equity right off the bat off NADA base retail. That's how we sell them, folks, because we want people to have options. We don't want to stick you in something you're going to be stuck in for the next 20 years of your life. We want we want to sell you one that if you decide to trade it back into us down the road, that we're not going to have a problem with you being upside down. 
And that's one reason why we stayed in business so long, folks, and why we sell over 500 RVs a year. I'm sorry. I know this is more of a rant than I had, but I just, it just, it makes me mad that other dealers give, make everybody stereotype other RV dealers because of what some of them do. So, folks, give us a call. You're going to be glad you did. You're going to save a lot of money. And hope to see you soon here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.